guys, Alex here. So today we're going to talk about a possible master's degree coming to WGU. So they have been hiring for both a software engineering and computer science master's degree. I will say though that these degrees have kind of been in the works for like five, six years. So we don't know if they're ever going to come to fruition. Like it may never happen, but they are hiring for uh, those master's degrees. Now, I don't think they will have both. I think it will be one or the other. I think it's very possible you could see one of them in the next year and a half. I think it's still going to be a while. But WGU is releasing degrees like crazy lately. The thing is getting a license uh, accreditation for a software engineering or computer science master's degree is pretty difficult. So I think that's a, that is probably one of the reasons it has taken a long time. You know, also getting PhDs in computer science are very expensive. Uh, which one do I think WGU would release? I think they would release a software engineering master's degree instead of a computer science master's degree. I think it's easier to get the accreditation and a software engineering master's degree will be a little more application based instead of uh, theory based. And WGU's goal is to get you a job. That is why their first degree was a software development degree instead of a computer science degree. They, they like more application classes than theory classes. Now they could still release a computer science master's degree instead of a software engineering master's degree, but I just have a hunch it will be a software engineering master's degree. So like I said, WGU has been hiring for this for a while. They recently were hiring a few months ago for a computer science slash software engineering master's degree as well. So they're hiring professors for it. It's probably, it's been a work in progress for many, many years. I do think they will release it at some point. You know, putting a software engineering or computer science master's degree, uh, putting that out, it takes a lot of time, guys. You know, and they're, they're probably putting a, some great curriculum together and some great classes. So one of the points of this video is I would like to talk about what a software engineering master's degree would actually look like at WGU. Like what courses would be inside this master's degree? Now, I think that they would probably open this master's degree for anybody that has a tech degree. And then anyone who has any bachelor's degree, if they take like a couple, uh, a couple courses to get in. So what do I think will be on a software engineering, software engineering master's degree? I think you might have an advanced uh, data structures graduate course. So a data structures and algorithm graduate course. I think you would have a software engineering one and two type of course where it focuses on some type of project, uh, be some programming involved. Maybe you're doing an app. So I think those courses would be on there. I think you might have, you know, some kind of database course. Uh, you might have an intermediate programming course that might be in Java. It might be in something else. Um, like I said, it'll probably be a lot of courses that actually prepare you for the job. I also have a strong hunch there'd probably be a mobile development course on there. Um, I think on their original degree, they have an Android course. I think this one, maybe, maybe they go with iOS on this one. I think that would be fun. Maybe they have two, maybe they have two mobile programming courses. I think that would be really, really cool. I think they could have a user design, user interface course on there as well. Uh, they'll probably have some type of filler class, I'm assuming, which goes over the software engineering life cycle. Um, you know, that'll probably be called like something similar to software engineering life cycle. So that'll probably be on there as well. There could be another filler class like ethics, like software engineering ethics. Um, that's, that's a strong possibility as well. Uh, and with AI, how booming AI is, there is a possibility they have like an advanced artificial intelligent course on there as well. So that would be several courses that you can look forward to, to possibly being on that degree plan. Um, like I said, a lot, a lot of the courses would be very useful to your job, very useful to actually, like I said, a software engineering degree would prepare you better for a software engineer job than a computer science master's degree. But a computer science master's degree would obviously prepare you for a wide array of jobs. Um, and it would definitely help you a little more with interviews as well. I've said that in previous videos where I think a computer science bachelor's or master's helps you a little more with interviews because it goes deeper into theory and deeper into data structures and algorithms, uh, you know, deeper into all that type of stuff. 
And overall, you can just get a lot more types of jobs with it. You can branch out into more uh, different types of fields, you know, artificial intelligence, um, like I said, machine learning, data. With software engineering, you're kind of just your software engineering job, um, you know, whether it's mobile, web, et cetera. So you're just kind of locking yourself into that for the most part. Like I said, software engineering, you know, you're looking at a six-figure income. You're looking at a very, you know, lucrative career, guys. And while we are in a bit of a bear market when it comes to tech, I do think that economies go in cycles, guys. I think we will go on a hiring spree at some point. The tech market will be booming again with tons of hires at some point. Although the barrier to entry might get a little steeper, you know. It might be where you're prim primarily hiring almost all master degrees for entry-level software engineer jobs, right? But if you do have that master's degree, it's very possible that you will land that software engineer job during all of those new grad hiring sprees that I think will happen in the, in the future. So for those of you, you know, one of the reasons I released this video is those of you who are finishing up your bachelor's or have already finished your bachelor's in one of those tech degrees, and you've been researching, researching a master's degree you wanna to go to, you know, you had your heart set on maybe outside of WGU, or you want to do a tech one at WGU like data analytics, but you, you know you're not really feeling data analytics, right? But you do want like a tech master's degree, or you might want to do the cybersecurity one, but like your heart is not in it. So you want to do a computer science or software engineering master's, but WGU doesn't have one. So I'm making this video to let you guys know that it is in the works. It will be released eventually. Now, eventually, <laughs> I don't know when that time frame is. You know, it could be seven, eight months from now. That is very possible, guys. Very, very possible. A lot of these degrees you just see pop up on WG's website with no notice prior, like zero notice. It could be five years. I really don't have the inside scoop on when the degree will be released. All I know is that it is going to come. It will be a software engineering master's or it will be a computer science master's. One of those two is coming. And We'll see when that happens. Like I said, it could be seven, eight months from now. It could be five years from now. I don't think it'll be that long. Um, I think it'll definitely be out within the next two years for sure. So if you want to wait on taking a master's degree, if you're not in a rush, WGU will have a software engineering or computer science master's that you can accelerate. You know, you'll, you'll, this will be a degree you can probably do in 12 months or less in two terms. So You'll have that software engineering master's on your resume with your computer science or software engineering bachelor's or any bachelor's for that matter. And, you know, it'll help you get a job. It'll teach you some more valuable skills. WGU courses teach you valuable skills. Like you can't pass those tests or projects without knowing your stuff. And that's one of the great things about WGU. You know, you, you really have to know your stuff to pass these courses. You come out learning a lot compared to, you know, other online schools where, you know, you it's more of writing based and you just kind of hack your way through it. Whereas WGU, you actually do need to know the material, you need to learn, uh, you need to apply it. So it's one of my favorite things about WGU is you really need to know your game. You really need to prove that you know the knowledge. So I, like I said, I'll go over the my predicted course list again. I think there would be a graduate algorithm course, which is like data structures and algorithms, like a graduate version of that course. And that'll help you get a job even more and pass those data structure and algorithm videos. Another course, like I said, would be some kind of advanced artificial intelligence course. Uh, it's possible you could have a machine learning course on here, but I don't think so for a software engineering degree. If it was a computer science master's, yes, I do think machine learning would probably be part of the curriculum. Uh, another course on here is you can have mobile development one and two. I don't know if it would be Android or iOS. Uh, they could branch off from their bachelor's degree and stay with Android, or they could do iOS this time because they have an Android class on their bachelor's. I think there would be a couple filler classes, possibly an ethics class just to throw in there. And then the other class being like a software engineering life cycle type of class, which goes over the life cycle. So there could be a couple filler classes right there. I think there'd be intermediate programming class, probably in Java. I think there would be some kind of database course, um, which probably would focus on like web development. And then the other courses I would expect, and this would be like software, software engineering one and two, or this could be called like, uh, this could be called like app development one and two, or, you know, web development one and two. It could be called a variety of things. I think these two courses would be focused on like probably web development 
it would probably be focused on maybe building a website, some kind of project. Um, and you probably have two classes going like deep into that. So like I said, I think the software engineering masters, if they decide to go with that, will be heavily paced on like applying skills to the job, like hard application skills. I don't think this degree would be theory based at all, you know, besides, you know, the, the data structures and algorithm graduate course. I think even the artificial intelligence course would probably have a lot of um, a lot of application to it and not much theory. I actually think if they, they go with an advanced artificial intelligence course, you'll probably see some chat chat GPT stuff on there. You know, they'll probably include that. Um, some schools like to stay away from chat GPT at all. But I think if you're going to have an advanced artificial intelligence course, you have to have some kind of introduction to chat GPT. All right, guys, that will be the video for today. If I helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. I know this wasn't like a normal video where I go over a degree that's already existing. You know, this was a video that's more based off, you know, a degree they are hiring for, a degree many of you definitely, definitely would be interested in. And it goes over me kind of predicting the course load. It goes over me uh, predicting when it might come. You know, a lot of theory in this video instead of application. Usually my videos are hard application where I, I go over a degree, I go over when you can complete the degree, et cetera, et cetera. This video is more theory based. If that's not up your alley, I apologize, but you know, I, I want to know, I want to let you guys know that this degree is coming at some point. It'll be this degree or a computer science degree. I do not think it will be both. I do think it will be a software engineering master's degree. I don't think it'll be a computer science master's, but I could be wrong. So I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.